Emotions are expected to be at an all-time high today, not only for Florida's 22 seniors who will take the field for their last game in the Swamp, but for the man who's been by their side through thick and thin for the last four years. Will Muschamp was dismissed as Florida's head ball coach following the Orange and Blue's 23-20 loss to South Carolina. Muschamp says despite his unfortunate departure, there's still football left to be played and plans to send his players off the right way. Send those guys out, you know, you, you don't get to coach them again and, and we've had you know, great relationships with these guys on this team, you know, and that's always tough, no matter if it's the first year or the fourth year. So no matter if it's my recruiting class or not, it's Florida's recruiting class, the way I've always looked at it. So it'll always be tough, you know, to know that you won't be on the field with those guys again, you know, maybe maybe on the next level or something like that. But, uh, hey, you know, these guys have given a lot to this university. We need to send them out the right way. Florida is just one win away from becoming bowl eligible and will be looking to get the W this afternoon against Eastern Kentucky a team that averages 35 points per game and is 9-2 so far this season. Defensive coordinator DJ Durkin discussed what makes the team stand out. Obviously the record speaks for itself. They're, they're winning a lot of games. They put up a lot of points on offense. They're, they're a spread team. They go tempo. Um, their starting tailback is a transfer from Kentucky. He's, he's a really good player. Runs hard. He's physical. Um, they play two quarterbacks that are both athletic. They, they run the ball and, and throw it down the field. So, I mean, you know, it, it's... They're a good team, and they, they've, they've won a lot of games for a reason, you know. And so I think our guys know that and, and are preparing the right way for it. Um, we'll be challenged defensively with, with their tempo and different formations and a lot of unbalanced and speed motion and, and you know, those types of things that if, if you know, your eyes aren't in the right place and not, not prepared to handle it, you, you, can, you, know, you can give up a big run or a big pass play. And so we got to be on it. And that's, that's the, the challenge for our guys like any other week, like I said. It, it, it is what it is. We need to go out there. You're only as good as your next game. So we need to go out there and perform and play at a high level. Muschamp will remain at the helm for today's game as well as next week's rivalry game against Florida State. While the search is on for Florida's next head coach, Coach Boom left a message for whoever takes over for the Gators. They got a deep and talented roster, so don't let that new guy tell you he ain't got no players. I'll tell you that right now. They got some good football players in that locker room. I feel like we've headed the right direction at quarterback as far as the depth and quality of the guys you got in the room, both lines of scrimmage, the talent of the secondaries I've been around as far as those guys coming back, uh, linebacker, you know, you got some good players. But uh, special place and special people, and I don't leave with any hard feelings or regrets at all. For WFT Sports, I'm Bonnie Mott.